Hey everybody, it's April here. Um, please excuse my hair, it's kind of messy because like I literally just woke up and took Darren to work and now I came home. So yeah. Um, I've had a lot of people ask me about my hair since I had it done, so I thought it would be probably a good idea to post like a video about it and like explain a little bit of like what's going on, what I used and stuff. I've had a lot of people ask me like, what did you use? How does it work? Like, how do you, you know, keep it, you know, that way? How, blah, blah, blah. Does it wash out? Blah, blah, blah. So, I'm just going to answer some of the questions that I've gotten since I got this done. So, first of all, what I use is called Splat. I don't have it with me right now, but it's called Splat. You can buy it at, like, CVS, Walgreens. I've seen it at Walmart. Um, you can buy a bunch of different places, so, but the, you can buy just the colors, like, you can get just the pink, but, like, what I did is they have this box set where it's, like, the bleach and the color, so you buy the box set, and you can bleach your hair out, and then you put the color back in, so that's what I did, um, so, like, yeah, I just bleached out all of my hair blonde, um, Actually, this side on this side is, like, a little not as bright blonde as this side. I just, like, redid this one to be more blonde because this is, like, the part that I left, you know, blonde or whatever. But, like, this part, as long as it's really lightened up and it will take color, you're good to go. This one actually had, like, some, not orange, but, like, dark yellow still left in it. But it was, like, light enough where it would take the pink, so I didn't worry about it. Like, my hair is naturally chestnut brown. It's naturally dark brown. Well, kind of like medium brown. So, yeah, the bleach did that to my hair, which is, like, good. That's what it's supposed to do. So, um, yeah, the splat color that I use is called Pink Fetish. They have a bunch of different colors. I don't know all the names, but if you check out their website, um, you can see them all there. And you can also get, like, a dollar coupon off of any Splat product, which is pretty cool. I think I've also seen Splat at Sally's Beauty Supply. Anyway, um, so yeah, this is what it looks like, and this is like my new haircut. Sorry, it's messy right now. And color, and so far so good. I haven't really, that I'm aware of, had any bleed over. Maybe you guys can see if there's any. I haven't even like looked at the back of my hair in forever. So, um, also another tip that, um, somebody mentioned to me, because I was, like, when I wash my hair in the shower right now, I'm washing it like this to try to keep the pink in the pink and not in the blonde, but someone did mention to me that if you, like, on the blonde, if you put, like, a white or, like, a clear on there, um, and then wash it out, you know, like, you're supposed to do, like, um, basically what that does is it fills the holes in your hair with, white or clear color, so if the pink does bleed over, there's less of a chance for it to set into the blonde because it's already kind of filled. Those holes that would be filled with color are already filled with something. It's just clear or white, so you don't see it, but it's kind of a protectant. So hopefully that works out pretty good. I'm going to start, like, shampooing my hair just like normal, like standing up normal in the shower and see, like, what that does, but... The pink has actually faded a good bit, which is cool for me because, like, I like the pink it was, but it was really, really intense, like, kind of a dark. So I think it looks good. Um, I'm excited for it to, like, actually fade out some more. Like, I'm wanting it to get kind of like a light Hello Kitty pink, so we'll see how that goes. But anyway, that's my new hairstyle. I hope you guys can see all of it. That's the back and the front. And it's messy right now, but I did it the other night when we went out to the bar. It looks good. Anyway, if you guys have any more questions about how my hair is cut, like, I basically just have half of it shaved. <laughs> like, where I part it normally, I just got that, the other part shaved. So, there's really nothing special about my haircut. It's just shaved, partially shaved, partially not. That's, like, the only kind of funky thing, I guess, about it besides the color. I mean, it's just the cut and color. Anyway, if you guys have any questions um, or want to know any more information about, like, what I used, the, the, um, the, what I used on this side was just, 
It's Virgin Snow White Toner from Manic Panic. I stopped by Sally's and got this last night. Like I said, you don't see anything because it's like white. It looks blue here, but it does. It's not. It, it dries white. It's white. Um, so yeah, I used that last night, and obviously you don't see any color there because it's just white. So hopefully that will work, and I won't have any bleed over. And if anybody has any tips for bleed over with you know if you've had your hair styled like this or similar or whatever, I really like some tips for bleed over because I've anytime I've ever dyed my hair like this like a cool funky color I've had all of it done not just sections or portions so I don't have any experience with bleed over and, and hopefully I don't have any <laughs> hopefully I don't have any problems with this okay thanks for watching my video and be sure and subscribe and if you have any questions you can email me and all the information is going to be below this video bye